Hey everyone, Jamie here from technicalcafe.com. Welcome to your 10th HTML tutorial. In the last tutorial we learned how to add images to our web pages, um, and we learned how to add images from different sources such as websites or um, folders and other directories. So in this tutorial I said we were going to be adding uh, links to our images or learning how to link them to other pages or uh, pages within our websites. So uh, in order to do that, it's quite simple, it's kind of just like linking text, but the only difference is we're linking images. So uh, let's set up our web page here. I've already saved this as linkingimages.html just to save some time, but uh, you can save it as whatever you want on your computer. So let's add our title here. And we'll call this linking images. Alright, so here's our uh, basic HTML uh, shell, I guess we could call it. And um, let's just refresh that and come on over here. And you'll notice that we have nothing on the page as usual. Um, other than the fact that the title has been changed to linking images. So let's add the image that we were using last time, and that's a picture that I took while I was at my assessment testing for the first day of school there. Um, we can add that by using IMG SRC for source, and then uh, the, we're going to make it into a source attribute. So what we're going to do is we're going to add the name of the image, and that's picture.jpg. And it's important to note the file type of the image. If I were to type it wrong, the image wouldn't, wouldn't show up. So um, just make sure you have that right. And since picture.jpg, uh, the picture that I took, is in the same folder or directory as the linking images web page, um, we don't have to add any other thing other than image.jpg. If we wanted to, though, we could use dot .slash to indicate that it's in the same directory, um, but that's not necessary. Um, and again, if the image is in another directory, like a, the next directory up, we could just use dot dot .slash um, and continue on with that structure until we got where our image was. So. We'll leave it like this for right now using the dot slash um, just to show you that it's in the same directory and we'll close our tag here and show you what it looks like. And again from the last tutorial you'll know, notice that the image was way too big to be displayed um, without having to scroll so what we will do is we will add our image our height and width attributes rather. So height and we'll make this uh, 150 pixels we'll say, what did I do last time? Uh, we'll say 50% and for width we'll say 50% as well. And let's see what that looks like. Alright, yeah, this I think this is what we had last time. So um, this is our image here, we don't have to scroll, it's all good. Um, so let's learn how to turn it into a link. Um, right now when we click nothing happens, but we're gonna turn it into a link just like text links. Um, and we can use it to take us to another web page for example or to take us to an external website like google.com or something like that. Um, and you can also theoretically, I guess, use them to link you to different sections of a web page like we did in our internal links web, um, web page that we were doing. Um, but for the purpose of this tutorial, uh, we'll just learn how to do uh, external links. So if we come over here, uh, also let's add our alt attribute just in case the browser isn't able to display the image to the user. Uh, we'll just call this uh, ocean walkway picture. All right, so in order to link an image, all we need to do is add our, our hyperlink tags, um, or a tags rather, to the outside of the image, just like we were linking text. So all I need to do is type in, and if you forget what the hyperlink tags are, actually, they're a href equals, um, and the href attribute has the equal sign and then the parentheses here, or, or quotation marks rather, and then a closing tag. Um, and whatever is in between these tags is linked. So um, if you forgot to put the closing tag, everything after the image will be linked, and that's not something uh, you're going to want. So um, we'll link this image to google.com. So what we're going to be doing is putting our http colon slash slash google.com. And again, if you remember from the um, hyperlinks tutorial that it's important that we have http, otherwise it's going to try to link us to a page called google.com, and uh, it's not going to be something you want. So let's come over here and add our tags here, a href equals. Um, and if you'll remember, A stands for anchor, href is hypertext reference, so it's the page that we're referencing. And we're going to say google.com. And let's close off this tag here. And again, we're going to want to come over here to the end of our page and close off the link so we don't link anything outside of the image. Um, and this is really simple, just like linking text, other, other than the fact that we're linking another tag here. We're linking the whole image tag, including all of its attributes everything like that. So just make sure you don't um, accidentally leave off or close the tag early or anything like that. So 
Um, let's come over here, save this, come over here, and you'll notice that our image now has a pointer finger over it, meaning that it's clickable um, and it's a link. And if you notice down here at the bottom, uh, you'll see that it's linked to google.com. So let's take a click on it here, and you'll notice that it brings us to google.com. And just like any other link, um, we can change the whether it opens up in a new page or new tab, or whether it opens up in the same page or tab. Um, and we can do that by coming over here and adding an attribute. We'll say target equals, and um, if you want it to open up in a new tab or page, all you need to do, if you'll remember from the hyperlinks tutorial, is underscore blank. And that'll open it up in a new page. Um, and if you don't want it to open a new page, obviously you just leave the tag or the target attribute out. So let's uh, save that, come over here, refresh, and when we click on this now, it'll open it up in a new page, um, google.com. So just another thing I want to note over here is um, you'll notice that in some browsers you might get an image that has a little border around it unless you specify for it not to happen. And um, when you click on the image, it'll actually, uh, the border color will turn to purple just like it will with a link. And there's a way you can change that. So if we come over here and we go over to our image tag, we can add the attribute border and I'm just going to add a border because it's not displaying by default. So we'll say border equals 1px for one pixel, and we'll save it. And I'll refresh the image here, and you'll notice that there's a purple border. Um, and I believe that's because we clicked on the image, uh, meaning that the image has been a, is now a visited hyperlink instead of an active hyperlink. So um, if we come over here, we can turn the border off just by typing in 0px. And if that's the case for you, and your browser is displaying a border, you can get rid of it just by typing the border attribute equals um, and inside of some quotation marks, 0px. So you save that up here, and you refresh, and the border is gone. So um, this is basically how to hyperlink images. It's uh, quite simple. It's just like linking text or um, anything else that you're going to be linking. Um, so if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please feel free to send me an email by using the Technical Cafe contact page. You can follow me on Twitter at twitter.com slash jamiemcg. Um, Technical Cafe's Twitter is Technical Cafe. And um, d feel free to leave any comments or... Uh, whatever you want to do, I'll be sure to answer those comments for you, or I'll try anyway. And um, yeah, have a nice day, and if you enjoyed these tutorials, please subscribe. Um, you can suggest future tutorial ideas and anything like that. So uh, thank you for watching.